inside. This, this is, is the shawl yeah. in the launch of this here. We did that here. Um, the, the reason we bought these particular cigars is we thought you might like to try the Nebula Signo. This year's regional edition is going to be a Gloria Cubana Britannicus Extra. Oh, and quite often that. we're lucky enough to get an early batch to try, often pre-production. This year, because of all the problems in Cuba, that hasn't been possible. So what we thought we would do is bring them... <laughs> is combine the two. All of our Britannicus Extra, because it's the size that we'll be having this year. And the Gloria Cubana Gloria, because it's the brand. So if you could suspend... <laughs> Should we smoke two of them together? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. Well, you remember the do you remember the Gloria Cubana? I thought we, we, we just thought it'd be nice to get some of the old ones out, see no, how they've aged, see how they've developed, and, and hopefully get a little bit excited about this year's regional edition. So the Gloria Cubana is 2008, the 2011. Mm -hmm. That's right. The mentions, have we got a good summer go here? <laughs> no? <laughs> I can tell you the mention of Britannicus Extra, yes. This, um, the Gloriosa, I think it's a double Robusto. I think it's a 50 wing game by 6 and 1 8. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're about, you're no, about, no, no, I didn't know you could check. You're about, <laughs> you're about to lose your job. No, again. Um, again. No, 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 He's no. conveniently lost it. <laughs> no, 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 no such oh, thing. Okay, the surprise. <laughs> Who knows the dimensions of the Gloria Cubana Gloriosa? Aj, I think it's a fifty-two by one. Okay, we're halfway there. Fifty by six and one eight. Oh, well, I was right. Oh, I was right. There you go. And I didn't check it before bringing. Help yourself to whatever you you found. I knew it. The main signal is. The Siglo Medio Siglo is the ring gauge of a Siglo 6 and the length of a Siglo 1. So it's a 4x52. Yeah. And we are launching this as soon as we get back. But we have got very little quantity. So. Oh, usual story, sir. Usual story, so it'll be the usual email exchange of Patricia. <laughs> How many can I have? I've only got a handful. Is that all? Oh, God. <laughs> His war box. Yeah, yeah. 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 Put our order in now. Yeah. 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 Well done. Yes. Thank you, AJ. Yeah. 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 We're recreating um, um, the. And there's mojitos, beer. 2016. Anything else you feel like ask? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that will be. Thank you. I'm going to have one of them. Joey, did you say we can have one of each? You can help yourself to whatever you like. One of each. Yes, I mean, sir. seriously. One of each. Why did you have one of my daughter? Have got, yeah. oh, one, one, one no, per no, gene. No, no. no, one per DNA, no, no, I'm afraid. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. We've got one of these. I haven't tried the DNA. And there are cameras. <laughs> <laughs> so this is so exciting is because we're going to have the Bolivar Britannica which was launched here at this house in 2011 so we're going to revisit the cigar back in Havana in 2017 fantastic and obviously we have the Gloria Gloriosos which was 2007 books of tents that cigar as well has developed superb. And we've got the video cigar for classes. So really, really looking forward to this. With the beer. I know cigars don't go with beer, but I need the beer. And he gave me a soft drink. Coat goes well. So come, let me show you what is here. You're Irish. I've been there for so long at this stage. We were caught up with that thinking process in about six months Nobody was known. You literally made me. I thought I was going to be the same as the Britannia. That's it. That's exactly right. The pool's um, full, so if you're so on the swim record, you could take the first one. And I'm going to have to say, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now. Yes, I'm going to paddle. I will too. Yes, I'm going to go down. We have the Medius Slay. We have the La Gloria, Gloriosos, and the Bolivar Britannica. 
Oh, we are going to be smoking lots of cigars this afternoon. Yeah. AJ, would you like a suitcase for those? Yes, sure. <laughs> I'll just take the remaining. <laughs> Look at that. Brilliant. Did you want as well for the Yeah. Thanks. See you. Thank you, Papa. I will take it off you for the start recording. So as you can see, if you look at my video back in 2011, you will see this was rammed with everybody. So you could see the beauty of this place, the garden. Beautiful pool. Sean's gone for paddling. I've got the cigars. How about that? Hey? I'm just going to wave these in front of him. <laughs> so absolutely superb. Do you mind? So this is Gemma. Thank you very much for inviting us. And believe me, I have no idea we are going to get these cigars. No, no. Sean for the first time never said a word. Yeah, this was so exciting. Really exciting. Was this cigar I can remember smoking in here, and it was fantastic. This right now, I've got a few boxes. They're super, and I'm not going to eat any. They are so good, and I've only got five boxes in the That's it, and I know this is fucking good as well. I'm really excited. Thank you very much. Well, I really hope you enjoy it. Appreciate that. It's nice to have a little medio cigar. I haven't tried that yet. Yes, I smoked this whilst I was waiting for you at the Fajiva today. Okay, and. Is it? Yeah. Good. It's, it's going to hit the sales if they want it to. Good. They're well, going to go down. This is yummy. Good. I'm really pleased to hear that. Really, I'm not going to go and smoke really one of those now because well, I haven't sorry, tried that Well, sorry for taking so many, but we did say AJ. there's two of us. AJ, there's two of you. Are there? Are there? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> this is age. You've never said. Congratulations. I'll make a lot of money. <laughs> you will. Last night before. Thank you, Joe. Rebecca's going to smoke the La Gloria Cubana Gloriosos and I'm going to smoke the Bolivar Britannica from 2011 and yours is from? 2007 Seven. Older, yeah. much older Not as old as me though No, <laughs> <But> yes <laughs> So we're going to light these out and um, see the difference side by side so um, that's you know rather than me smoking everything the pre-draw on this is superb. The draw is very good. Good flavors. And I remember back in 2011 when we smoked this here. You know, it was very fresh, full-on black pepper, and you, you can feel the subsidence of that black pepper. But the flavor of this Bolivar, I'm sure it has set in. I'm glad that we've got a few boxes still. <laughs> So the Bolivar Britannica, it's a very similar shape to the Romeo and Juliet Celestos Finos. The double figurado tapered both ends, but Celestos Finos shape. But it's slightly fatter as well. Mm. Oh, beautiful flavors through the nose. It's got that rich spice, but balanced. It's really, really good. Very good. Okay, let me do yours. Okay, take um, 
That's the Bolivar. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's strong. Mm. But it's not overpowering, is it? It's balanced strong. Through your nose, gently. There you go. Doesn't make your eyes water, does it? No. <laughs> yeah. Try this now. See the difference. Softer. Lighter. Mm. Mm. Good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So we'll report back yeah. after we smoked a bit more. See you guys in a minute. As my dad does, hasta luego. No, nope, we only do hasta luego oh. when we're finished. Damn it, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Lawrence, you must have had a kip. Got up late. Being nominated by Hunters and Francis, that is the greatest honor I've ever had. Well, oh, good luck. It's very, very well deserved. And we wish you every much. possible. So, which is very exciting is that Slavo, who is our sommelier for this year, having won the competition in 2015, and then in 2016, UK, the UK, UK competition. sommelier competition, and then in 2016, Habanos announced that they were going to run the sommelier competition in Cuba with all the previous winners. So we had to delay Slavo coming for a year. Is the UK Habano Sommelier of the Year participating in the Sommelier competition this year? And we found out yesterday that he has got through to the final. Yay! Yay. Yay. Congratulations to Slavo. And again, I wish you all the best on Friday. You actually have to go through an exam. Edward has to look pretty for her. <laughs> 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 that works so, well. So, <laughs> So I, I really, really, figuring. we're very proud of you, and you. you're an absolutely fantastic candidate, as was mine, and we're really, really impressed by everything that you guys do and learn, and you set the standard that is incredibly high, and you deserve to win, so good luck, and I hope you can Speak. 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 The, the knowledge you youngsters are getting to go to art is incredible. Mm. Far beyond my knowledge. I, I got my honorary. I'm going to first the guy with the day as well, so it's Alex. You know, all he was a beautiful guy. I don't think there's any of them. I don't think you'll find many of that. No, Mike was saying he was saying he's got a but he doesn't want to break into it. I don't think even AJ's got five boxes. Got five boxes. I say, I wish I had more. Because when they first came out, when they first came out, they were good, but they were not wow. No, they were, yeah. Yeah? So, you know, you're thinking, oh, well, but now they have just developed. Right. Whereas the Botanica, the Botanica, when it first came out, was <laughs> straight away. It's fine. And the amazing thing with the Botanica, I suppose, is double for Guado. Yeah, I, and I must have smoked it, probably up to a hundred of them. Every single one was a perfect draw. And with a double figurado, you do run the risk of, of uh, issues, with the issues with the draw, with construction. Right, right, right. But they were made in a, in a regional factory about 20, 30 miles outside of Havana. And sometimes the quality is, you know, more attention. Okay, yeah, Saturday, Miami. But no, they're amazing. These were our second, third, second fastest selling meetings. Yeah. Um, 2011. Yes. Yes. Nice. Good. 
Oh, it's got the time from quick, isn't it, AJ? We, when we, we launched the Botanicus here, when we launched it, we had the tasting. Tasting. That's, that's what it seems like yesterday. That was six years ago. Yeah. Mum was here. She's got power over everything. She could have moved You can see how much I smoked of this now. And I tell you what, it's like a light switch. The cigar has just turned. You got the power of this cigar. It is superb. Oh, what a cigar. You know what? There are a few Bolivars that I can say that I really enjoy. Like the China, Ammonia, the Solomon, which is one of my favorites. I would say number one of the Bolivar range. And this, this would come number two for sure. Not because of the strength, but because of the profile. It is a beautiful cigar. Elegant, great looking. Celestos Finos shape. Oh, box of tens. Very difficult to find. But what a yummy, yummy cigar. I'm sure Sean's gonna release a few more. And one day, um, I might get one or two boxes. Let's see, let's see what he says. He's laughing away. <laughs> Violin going. <laughs> The draw is good as well. It's just delicious. Oh. As yet, gloriosos. It's really good. It's very. It's not a light switch. <laughs> it's lovely. It's it stayed very, very smooth. Very huh? smooth. Yeah. How's it through the nose now? You got that creamy flavours settling in. It's really creamy. It's creamy. Yeah. On the last bit, you can really taste the creaminess in it. It tastes like a chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. I have just got a picture of it, so you're alright. Good, actually. Gracias. Gracias. That is a good ash. So I've just swapped with Reka the La Gloria Gloriosos. This is just a cream. On the palate, on the nose, just cream cigar. Beautiful. And that's the thing about Gloriosos is, with age, they become creamier cigars. The only one in UK that, apart from this, 2007, the only one that is on Hunter's price list is the La Gloria Inmensos, which is now discontinued. So uh, it's not on the price list anymore because I hopefully got all the stocks. Let's see. But those are aging well as well, so worth putting them away. This, this is really good as well. Boxes of tens. Every puff is just delicious. Need to smoke this cigar nice and slow, which is brilliant. Loving it, absolutely loving it. Well, I'm glad we could share this with you. I think we're gonna go for lunch in a minute. Uh, if we don't get to say bye, um, we'll probably sign out. But we're gonna say, Hasta luego. See you later, guys. I'm sorry to interrupt everyone. Um, we're very lucky to have with us today Alexander Borowski, the manager of Alexander
Well, I, I would also like to thank Gemma for a long lasting and very fruitful collaboration. And so, Franca, we are happy and pleased to be your friends and partners. And it is a privilege for me to be here, part of such an amazing group. Hello. <laughs> um, connoisseurs have long enjoyed pairing cigars with fine spirits. And of course, as we all know, the best and most natural pairing for, for a Cuban cigar is obviously the Cuban rum. And uh, uh, again, as most of you I'm sure know, Havana Club is proud of have its iconic collection, a range of ultra premium rums, starting from Selección de Fidel Maestros. And that also includes the 15 year old uh, Union, which was created in collaboration with Coiba and Maximo. But also last year we launched uh, a new uh, expression, <coughs> let's say, which uh, was called Tributo. Uh, it was launched precisely in Costa de Banos one year ago, uh, the 2016 edition. The idea being, which I must admit we kind of borrowed from the cigar world, the limited edition thing. Uh, it is a limited edition rum. There's only 2,500 bottles of it, and every year the liquid is different. Every year, it is a true limited edition. Our maestros, Roneros, get together, create a blend that will, it will never repeat itself again. So those of you who tried the 2016 edition last year will notice that this year's liquid uh, is, is very, very different. And uh, let's try it, and it will be very interesting to hear your opinion. What I can tell you to me, what, what I thought yesterday, was that it's much drier on, on the palate. Uh, from what I know, it is because this year, uh, last year's edition was a tribute to Maestros Romeros as an institution. This year, they uh, pay homage to Cuban sugarcane. So the leading role in this blend is played by an aguardiente, which was aged for decades, which is a very unusual thing for rum, which is, I think, uh, the reason why, why, why it's so dry. But at the same time, you will find uh, the notes, very typical for Havana Club, uh, coffee, chocolate, some tobacco maybe, dried uh, fruit, vanilla. But anyhow, please enjoy and then I will be happy to discuss more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 